he's new. Good, don't I? Go on, take a bow. Uh oh. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. Oh, eesh. What? Yeah, I mean. Please let me go. Okay, I didn't mean for this to happen. Please, please. Oh my God, why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh. Is your is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money, and lots of it. Oh yeah. I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. So maybe they caught Nate, and he's that oh, werewolf that's in there currently. That's two, Bobby. Lance, two, Bobby. Don't touch the hey. fence, bro. Hey! Yeah, that would be not cool. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. I wonder if they retain any um, identifying features when they change like that. Creepy. I guess maybe we'll find out in the morning. Nosy little rat, aren't you? Yep. Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. What is she referring and to? Here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? It is possible that the the weighted cure is not correct, like we said. Maybe that's what it is. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant. But in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Yes, ma'am. That's it? You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Thank you. Inspirational as always. Chapter 7, Confront Laura. Okay, so we're playing as Ryan. I want to see this again. So we probably missed one there, I'm guessing. A card. So it's Dylan and uh, Caitlin. He's opening a gate? Oh, he's opening a car door. Okay. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are. So don't go into the car. 
the belly of the beast, hey? Well. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Time to catch up, man. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <laughs> Oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Hmm. I'm not letting her kill Chris. No way. Not, not over some old-timey poem. Remember, Ryan and Chris are very close. It's not just the poem, though. It's everything. The kidnapping, two months locked up, her boyfriend bursting into a thing like what happened to nick yeah the longer we sit around questioning her motives the longer nick is out there jacob emma we're all in danger i believe her this is what Shut she has up, to do abby don't move jeez your wrist stay away from her i'll shoot silver right uh yeah may i Oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. She's putting that into but what if it's Nick or someone. Like I said, a shotgun shell? Worst case scenario. Let's look at that immediately. Abby shot Nick in the pool house. Abby offered Laura her bracelet to fashion into a silver bullet. Yeah, okay, cool. Put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live when he's not at camp, I mean? <laughs> it these are both insinuating that he actually doesn't know what makes you think i know that uh you guys are counselors right you've spent the last two months here he's not in the storm shelter i'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods i need a place to start i think that spooky house behind these woods Dude, oh, we can even see what? it from here. Is there another way? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look. So, here's the thing. If we could somehow prove that um the one that she did kill bit someone else and that person is cured then yeah cool but we don't know if a if that one that she killed bit anyone else or b that's it <laughs> when the sun comes up i am stuck until the next full moon so is max so is anyone else he's bitten how is that our problem why don't you ask your friends oh the don't forget about nick dude okay Yes. So also part of that poem was that you have to do it on the on the waxing of the full moon or whatever. So like, yeah, okay. That's okay, why she wouldn't wait until morning to, to go water. look at Matt. Wait, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, oh, we should yeah, all be going. Said. Hmm. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris. <laughs> that was not own. my intention. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. Fine. Do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. 
Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Jeez, this is gonna be tense. I'm always of the mind where if you have a group, you should always just stick together. I don't I don't love the splitting up. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? He said pretty. That was clear. What do I look like? A tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean... So, we have theorized that... That Ryan... Is constantly defending Chris. They're very close. He didn't want to snoop around in that area when he found it with Dylan. What are the chances that Ryan knows Chris is a werewolf? And he's keeping that a secret. Is there anything... Like, all of that stuff would point to the fact that he is trying to defend him all the time. But is there anything that's pointed to the fact that he absolutely would know about him being a werewolf. We're at an excavation site. Well, the main body of the quarry was flooded and transformed into the lake you see today. Some of the excavation tunnels that run below the outskirts of this camp are still intact. The ground above these tunnels is compromised, but don't worry. We'll make sure your kids stay out of harm's way. No. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. I want that to be true. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? <laughs> when I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. Okay. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. But we we you did hear do, right? him explicitly. I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. Obviously, we'll try to find another way. I'm not just going to go in there freaking guns blazing. There it is. Hack your house. Got barbed wire. So, he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there, but... Oh, that could have been his mom in the... For answers, it's probably the best place to start. In the doggy dungeon. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Let's see how he responds here. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh! 
Huh. Well, that's one way in, I guess. <laughs> oh shit! Are you okay? Laura? Is that hurting her? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Yeah. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. <laughs> Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. Oh shit! The water cures them? What big eyes you have, Grandma? No shit! Oh, wow. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Yes. Define yellow? <laughs> We haven't got much time. Okay. Doesn't cure them, but it, like... Okay. Holy crap. This is cool. Let's go. Definitely... Yeah, I was gonna say, there's definitely something back here. What is this? Oh, it's a lunchbox. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. Okay, let's read that. I really wish it, during this scene where you... What the hell? Where you first find... That's, that's new. Where you could uh, just see the text then. Dear valued employee, I regret to inform you that your services at Hackett's quarry are no longer required. It's my intention to return the site of the central quarry, quarry to an area of natural beauty by flooding it and allowing a lake to form in its place. You'll be paid until the end of this coming week and then asked to vacate the premises. I'd like to thank you for your continued loyalty and wish you well in your future endeavors. Yours faithfully, Septimus Hackett? Is that the mother, maybe? Tight bastard, can't just pay us last time I trust a Hackett. Or maybe the father. Huh. They're going to flood it. Presumably because of... What we now are learning of water. Okay, there... I, what the hell? That question mark has a thing there. What is going on? Letter of foreclosure within indicates that this has been down here since the 1930s. Alright. Minor tools. We take something. I'm gonna say yes. These must have been from the quarry days. These rusty old tools are leftovers from the Hackett's industrial heyday before the mine's foreclosure. I wonder what this is. That's so weird. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Okay, so we're just not gonna... I would take one, if I was him. She's got a gun. I'd like to have... something. Whoa. What was that? My imagination. Silence! Okay. Did you hear that too? That's no whisper. It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. That makes me think of that hermit tarot card. Shit. 
Think anyone heard that? Um, yeah, yeah probably. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. What was that? Careful. Jeez. Nice. The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it and tasting it could save someone's life. So the only real lovers that we know of are um, Max and Laura, right? I guess, like, Nick and Abigail, but they're kind of new, so I don't know. Jacob and what's-her-name, but none of them are uh, werewolves. <laughs> so it does seem here, like, if you taste the blood, it could save someone's life. That is maybe a cure, then, or something like that. Just look at this place. That could that could be a clutch find. Oh, oh boy. I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Uh oh. Stop being weird. Uh-oh. She's starting to get hungry. So who are we? Yeah, okay, we're controlling Laura. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious, but... Oh boy, this is high. Whoa. Yeah, this is like one wrong step situation here. Oh. Is she gonna eat that? Do you think actually something is in here with us? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. True. We're doing really good on the evidence, I would think. A lump of what appears to be damaged or scarred flesh. Do not enter. Whoa. Where's cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. Wow. Rye guy, super fly guy. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? Hmm. What box would that be? And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah. Why? <laughs> no reason. Pretty obvious, but...
It could be that... This way. I see a light. Yeah. Jeez. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Ooh. Whoa. Someone's been eating their spinach. Yeah, she's getting strong. So, oh, boy. You want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? <sighs> So his um his comment about Chris really being there for him before uh or at the start of camp it could possibly be about his sexuality. We saw that there was something with Dylan and then they uh were dared to kiss and that was he was into it. So it could be that, and then when she's saying, like, you're single, and he's like, yeah, like, he doesn't, you know, doesn't go further. And then the thing about putting him into a box that doesn't fit, I don't know, could be, could be a ton of stuff. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm interested.